Welcome into the Honda Club Speedway where we get ready for sim racing authority action and a uh, long race here. The 100 laps, 200 miles. It is race number three of the Gen 6 series presented by Lama Dog Racing as we get ready again from Auto Club Speedway. Logan Clampett going to start on the pole. I can get this to work right. Do, 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 da, do, da. Racy McMillan. There we go. We'll get this to work, boys, as they're rolling off. Logan Clamp are going to start in the pole. Ariani in the AAA insurance car going to start in the second position. Marcus Richardson. He will start inside row two alongside the one. I'm Connor Anton. Justin Gable going to start down in the uh, fifth position there in that 10 car alongside Bobby Cheney. 31, Kyle Putz going to start on the inside with James Simmons on the outside. Tyler Ducharme, the 08, going to start outside of Aaron Davis in the 20. Stuart Redman right there is Nick Northrup. Derek Bordeaux, the dart in the 4 there also. There's uh, Chris Scallon in the 22. Brett Pankari in the 94, uh, 5. Richard Schwent, there's Pops in the 21. And then, as I mentioned, McMillan, Randy Roberts, Patelli all going to start this race coming up here very, very shortly. I would go to the grid to show you the starting lineup, but uh, then you'd see who won the race. And I try to keep spoilers away. But again, 100 laps, 200 and, well, 200 miles exactly. Two mile track. Daytime, very loose setup here. The way the weather was set up. Uh, should uh, put on a pretty good show here. Race number three. Sim Racing Authority in the Gen 6 Series presented by Lama Dog Racing. Pace car is off. Logan Clampett, Ariani going to lead him to the green flag, and we are racing. That was my best speaker voice impersonation right there. We are racing, boys. Logan Clamp are going to come off turn four and lead lap one. Look at these cars spread out. Marcus under attack. Connor Anton was inside in that one. Very rarely you see Marcus get passed by somebody. It just happened. Kyle puts up to the fifth position. One car almost getting in the wall there off of two. Nice job keeping it off. Justin gave him the 10. He is up there near uh, Sacramento on that outside lane. Going to go backwards. Oh, Brett Picari in the wall. The Blue Jays car there smacked it. This car kind of went straight, it looked like. Obviously, the track very bumpy. Very fast. Side by side racing here. James Simmons inside of Aaron Davis. Derek Bordeaux on the outside. Tyler Ducharme there in the 08 to 24. Bobby J. Oh, one uh, car slot. That's Redmond. Nice little save there. I said this setup was loose. And I ain't playing around. I only know this guy was in a race. North are back there. You see the Connor Anton on the inside there trying to get back past Marcus again. But this time Marcus is going to go around him. Kyle puts on his outside there. The Budweiser car. Racing right here. This is third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. 
all in this little pack right here. And they are spread out three, four wide. Marcus way up the track. And James Simmons at 04 getting a little loose on the bottom there. That was a good job saving the Haas car. Gable going to go by. Lachlan McMillan back here in the battle with Scala in the Seminoles car. There's the Rapala car of Trevor Pertelli in the seventh. Seven laps in the book. And a new leader, boys. Ariadne to the front, and he has uh, gotten by Logan Clampett. And the first lead change happens at lap seven at AAA Insurance Toyota. To P1. Meanwhile, Connor Anton. Kyle puts. The okay. 08 Tyler Ducharme there, the Budweiser car. Derek Bordeaux, Bobby Cheney in the 24. All pacing each other down to turn one. Hopefully enjoying your Friday nights as we continue to try to catch up as much as we can. This week was not a good week of catching up on my end. Uh, unfortunately, I had some work things getting away, and I was not able to get uh, going as quick as possible. So we still got the uh, Truck Series race from Atlanta to catch up on. Of course, the PC Master Race Series I'm speaking of there. Still got the Gen 6 presented by Lama Dog Racing from uh, Monday night. Uh, got to make up that and then uh, some USRC races still to go so we're getting there and battle for the lead again as Logan City inside as Kyle puts takes third Clampett gonna make it another lead change and the 15 back to the front as one car is spun off of four I believe that is Aaron Davis there he's right there to 20 but we stay green. Line of five here. As we ride with Ducharme looking at the collage car of Connor Anton. As Randy Roberts is this, she's there. Oh, and Tyler gets in the back of Connor. They proceed to save it. Meanwhile, Clampett's going backwards. He's been in the wall. A whole bunch of things happening here all of a sudden. Gonna put Ariani out there on his own in the 19, the Toyota. He is uh, on the loose there, and Kyle Butch trying to catch him in the 31. Bud Carr followed by the Bud Weiser car. Followed by the SRA number one of Connor Anton. Nice save on his end. And 
appears that uh, Bakari is taking his car behind the wall. Let's clip it. Does a lazy spin off of four. And this is going to bring the caution out. Is he spinning still? Caution going out for the first time. At lap 13. Let's watch it here off of four. Clampett trying to get to Tyler Ducharme. That back end is going to swing around. He tries to catch it, not able to. And that grass is just going to spin him around. First caution on the speedway in lap number 13. Quickly here, it looks like there's pace car in turn two. Pace car uh, definitely taking off at speed, it looked like there again. So we'll see pit stops coming up, and uh, we'll move ahead like we always do in the broadcast. This car going to bring the leaders off forward. Here we go. Pretty sure everybody's going to take forward and fuel here. Marcus sliding past his pits. One car just hit the wall back there. I think it was 95 of Pungari. He might be having issues back there or something. And wow, I think Bordeaux might have gotten him off pit road. Yellow here. Looks like Ariani going to be the leader coming off of four. He'll be able to start what he wants to. Kyle puts second. Tyler Ducharme, Connor Anton, Bobby Cheney are top five back to racing at Auto Club Speedway. Wow, look at the fight back here for second. Anton up to second, last season's winner at Auto Club Speedway. Kyle puts up to third. Makes me wonder. Uh, they didn't run in season one at Auto Club, so just checking. Oh, 
Oh, Anton a little loose there. As Ariani pulling away a little bit. Oh, one car spinning off a four. There's the front two starting to pull away in this group of cars here. Racing hard. A little gaggle right here. James Simmons going to get behind Cheney or at least battle with him. There's Ducharme inside of Connor Anton. Anton going to fight that outside. Marcus almost pushing up to the wall. Oh, one car spinning in off four. And Northrop. This time, though, he just spins it literally on the pit road. National Wildlife Turkey Foundation Bass Pro Shop car goes wee. Oh, nice save. I doubt he made it to the speed limit, though. Uh, Pops was the other car that spun by the way off four, I believe. Fighting it out, Ducharme and Anton Richardson. Like, somebody go. Marcus, like, all right, fine, I will. Three wide. Ooh, contact there. Simmons in there getting that uh, in a little bit of the battle himself there. Cheney trying to get his nose where the sun don't shine. Another car spinning off four. He saves it. A lot of people having issues in turn four. Oh, Gable on the apron to two. He saves it. Of course, the next race for these guys at the Kentucky Speedways. They're three wide back here. And while that broadcasted for you, obviously, uh, coming up here hopefully this weekend, that race was ran on Monday as Randy Roberts is off track again. These guys race every Monday night in the uh, Gen 6 Series, centered by Lama Dog Racing. Oh, Marcus with a bobble. A little hoppity hop. Clampin is spinning again. Oh, and then Scott is following him. Clampin keeps up. Oh boy. 22 has got some issues. Meanwhile, the 15 is pulling it behind the wall. He's like, I'm done. And the pole sitter going to go behind the wall. Meanwhile, the 22 having his own issues off of uh, four. All these cars you see have issues. Meanwhile, Ariadne not having one bit. As he continues to lead, Kyle puts chasing him down there in that 31. He 
Here you see the view from the front stretch and now the back straightaway here. Very bumpy back straightaway. You see the cars just kind of porpoising on the bumps. Seven laps in the books, 30 quarter distance here at the Honor Club Speedway. And this battle continues on here. Bobby Chaney has worked his way up a spot. Ducharme has pulled away from this group that's battling with Anton, with Chaney, with Marcus, with Bordeaux moving up a spot past Aaron Davis in the Budweiser car. Bordeaux making his way back up. Is having some blinking issues there. Marcus not having a very Marcus Richardson like run. Usually he's up there towards the front, like second, first or second, but I mean don't get me wrong, he's running still in the sixth position, but very unmarcus like. Bordeaux going to dive underneath Cheney for a position. That is for sixth. That 24 starting to kind of sink backwards a little bit. There's Tyler Ducharme, and then the battle for the lead starting to take shape here. trying to hold off that 31 of Kyle Putz. Looking at the point standings right now, that's Sim Racing Authority. As looks like Clampett coming off the pit road there. After the Las Vegas race, Chance Crumb leads Kyle McCormick by three. Bobby Cheney, he is uh, tied for third with Putz four back. As Putz goes to the inside for the lead, off of four. Kyle has chased down Ariadne, and he's going to get a bonus point maybe here. Oh, uh, yep. And Richard Schwent, your top five. Carrasco, Scala, Gable, Roberts, and Bordeaux, your top ten entering this race at Auto Club Speedway. Oh, and Randy's going around again on the back straightaway. The Coors Light car not having a good day. coming up on Nick Northrup in this whole group back here. Ducharme has stretched out a little bit. Marcus Richardson, Bobby Cheney, Bordeaux, all of them right here in his pack. Honor Anton. Aaron Davis in there also. Randy Roberts, who has not had a good day so far. Somebody else spinning now off a of two. There's David Shutt in a 42. Hadn't said a word about him yet. He's up to ninth. Lachlan McMillan there in the Australian Open car. Australian Open. I think he's got that Australian Motorsports, whatever the hell they're called. 16, and we got trouble off of four. And Scala's gone around, caution number two out. I think this actually started back in turn two. So we'll go back to turn two and let you see the whole sequence here of how I embarrassed myself. Caution number two on the speedway. So yes, I have a little spin issue there. 
And of course, I'm trying to get it in gear. And by the way, here come the leaders. Oh, they put me all out down. Yeah, that's good. And all of a sudden, apparently, I pissed off my tires because they're going to the corner. Watch this. Up, up, back around it goes. Of course, at this point, I'm like, oh, pack's coming. I better get off the gas. Well, there you go. Launch the number two out. That was my uh, best Pops impersonation, I guess, or something. I don't know. This car driver looks serious. So caution number two, lap number 32. And leader's going to come to pit road again here. Should be able to get there on one more pit stop to the finish from here, so. Here we go, four tires and fuel for everybody on the lead lap. Wow, do charm with a whole shot off of the wow. I still think Gary Odd's gonna win a race off pit road though. Maybe. It looks like it will be Audi gonna be the uh, winner off pit road. And we will fast forward ahead to the restart. Start to come at lap number 36. Back here, three wide off of four. Anton Simmons and Cheney. That is not a law firm. A three wide down to turn one as Ariadne starts to drive away again. Adi has led the most laps. Oh, and he gets loose off. Oh, Ducharme's in the wall. Contact with Bordeaux. And Ducharme spinning. And that's going to bring caution three out, I believe. Looking up there, no. Yep, caution is out. Let's see what happened. You charm. Bordeaux's going to get a run on his outside. Bam, there's contact in the wall. He goes, he goes to spinning. Right back up the track. Look out, she went. And caution out again. Let's uh, ride on board.
that's an angry driving away right there. Caution number three is out, lap number 37. While they catch the pace car, we'll go over what has happened so far. As we uh, review, uh, last uh, race on the track for these uh, guys here in the Gen 6 Series, then by Lama Dog Racing, Marcus Richardson led 92 at 134 laps in his win at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Uh, Bordeaux finished second, Cheney, Crum, and McCormick was the top five. Last year in this race, or last season, this race was ran July 21st. It was the opening race of the uh, Gen 6 Series. Connor Anton picking up the win, leading 58 out of 100 laps. Peck finishing second. Bobby Cheney, David Shutt, Aaron Davis, your uh, top five. So Connor Anton looking for his second win at the Auto Club Speedway. And here's some strategy. People almost hitting each other. Half the cars can come to pit road, half of them aren't. Like Bordeaux, Simmons, Hunter Anton going to come to pit road. Four tires and fuel going to pull back away. And we will fast forward to the restart. You see everybody here who stayed out. Start here at uh, Ariadne. Kyle puts Marcus Richardson, Cheney, Gable, shut the top six, stayed out. Rest of everybody came in from four tires and fuel. Let's see what happens. Shot there in that 42 on the outside, trying to get a run. As he gets a good run there on the outside, Gable going to slide up the track. Here comes Bordeaux to the inside. Redmond going to make a three wide with Connor Anton. Clamp it again. It's that inside wall, it looks like. I'm 44 complete. bombing and weaving, getting a little loose. Connor in that one, the uh, little collage car. All the Sim Racing Authority drivers mostly on there, or a decent portion of them. Shut with a move to the inside here for the fourth position. Little 42, slowly it can move. <laughs> the 
This battle on the tracks right here. Look at these three, now four. As the Dard with a little slide job on Aaron Davis. That's why I buy PlayStation. A little four car battle. Oh, Bordeaux in the wall. He's spinning. Gets Aaron Davis with him. And they're coming back up the track. Caution number, ironically, four. And the Dard has a crunched can of Budweiser. Let's see what happens here. He tries to save it. There's the bobble. He's loose there. Bam in that wall. He was gone from there. And I just got an interesting text here. Apparently a Bucks player whose name I am not even going to come near trying to say. Giannis Antetokounmpo something else. Anyways, apparently dumped over Chris Bosh. In other news, Katy Perry got nominated for Grammy, so what else is new? You see uh, Bordeaux smoking up a storm here. As caution is out again. Gable on pit road already unscheduled pit stop for the 10. So he's got some damage or something. Let's see who pits here and who doesn't. Everybody so far coming to pit road. Looks like everybody's on pit road. This is right about halfway. And Marcus going to win the race on pit road. Two tire fire there. Simmons second. And Ariadne Kyle puts David Shutt. A little two tire fire here in the front. One car did stay out. Trevor Pertelli. And Pertelli's going to lead a lap, it looks like here. So the seven stays out to Rapala car. As we fast forward ahead to the next restart. Got any bits? Pick it up. Well, once again, uh, this time actually Marcus Richardson going to restart with the lead on two tires. Simmons actually goes to the back. Don't know what happened there. We got Black Flagger came back to pit road, but Marcus on two tires going to restart with the lead. Oh, one car spinning off two. Oh, that's Stuart Redmond. He saved it. The 93 car. They saved there off of two. You saw him sideways on that camera. He about took out the ground camera. Well, let's see how Marcus Richardson can do with two tires as he leads off four. Last week's winner at Las Vegas. And a new player up in the top seven. Look back here in that 16 car, uh, Lachlan McMillan. 
Simmons getting loose there off of two. Mark Lanier in that Team Australia car. Australian Open. In Melbourne. Not to get confused with Melbourne, Florida. Guess there is different pronunciations for that. As a new leader, Kyle puts to the front. So puts up to the lead, Ariadne is second, Richardson back to third now as Cheney makes the attack. Bottom there, he's gonna try and get a run. It's 31. It looks like, from what I'm seeing here, Ariani's got a short run car. That 19 is fast, and in the longer run, that's when you see that 31 and others start catching back to that 19. There you see it, Ariani up to the front as we just passed halfway. Just a few laps back. Let's put a crossover move. He's gonna lead this lap. Uh, Ari, I would say. air between the top seven cars. As caution is out, I believe. Looking for it, looking for it, looking for it. Oh, Pops has gone into wall. It looks like, oh boy. Spider Man trying to climb walls again, I think. Owen. Oh, it appears that Pops and Randy Roberts have come together. Oh, Roberts gets loose. Pops drives into him, and Pops does his best Danny Hamlin impersonation here. And caution number five on the track. Pops has nowhere to go. out again as Aaron Davis comes off pit road so I should say these guys race on Monday nights uh, next time they'll be in action is coming Monday Martinsville Walt Walt Make things interesting. Barnes will definitely shake up the point standings when it's all over with. Double A. You see it there on top of his car leading this race. He's led the most laps so far, looking to get a win.
as you were going pit stops. And who's going to get the race off pit road this time? Simmons. Once again, Simmons is going to try a strategy and see if it works this time. Tracy Ariati, you've saved a few. I'm about to sneeze here, so I'm trying to hold it in. I think I'll be okay. Oh, look at here. And we got a little fuel strategy here if I'm staying out. Trust me. Racing lap number 61. His car pulls off. Oh, put Spitz tires, Marcus, in the wall. Wow. McMillan involved. A late restart, and they jammed it up. Looks like Kyle spits the tires. Redmond gets a big piece of it. Shut goes through. And pace car's not even going to stop. Right on out of the track he goes. Caution out again. Marcus Richardson. Those deals where the restart happened late and cars came together. And just uh, for those uh, curious in uh, the Pac-12 championship, <laughs> it ain't close. Simmons is going to catch up with the pace car here. We'll see if we have any pit stops. If not, then we will just go ahead and move ahead to the next restart. Again, the next broadcast we'll uh, do is tomorrow. We'll definitely do some broadcasting tomorrow. We'll get uh, the trucks done from Atlanta Motor Speedway, and we'll try to get the Gen 6 cars from Kentucky done. If we could do that, then we won't have many races left to catch up on. But I can't guarantee anything. All right, the pace car is going really fast, apparently, because Simmons can't even catch it. There's Simmons finally catching the pace car. You should see the rest of the leaders coming in here. I don't think the pits are open. Oh, I guess pits are open, so. Telly's going to come in. Schwint's going to come in. North, we're talking a 1985 NASCAR race all over again here. The pits are open there, so it looks like you see who your pit stops are going to be. So let's go ahead and move up to the next restart. The yeah, damage on Kyle puts his number 31. Simmons going to lead him to green again. Ariadne, double A on the outside. 
as we are now at lap number 66. David Shub with a jump to the outside. Try trying to get that Kyle Busch run. Not happening, it looks like. Matter of fact, he's hit the wall off a of two. As Connor Anton has gone to the front. First time he's led today. Last season's winner here at Auto Club Speedway. James Simmons second. Kyle puts Madeline Ariani for third. Looks with that right front damage. That's going to hurt him a little bit. Club Speedway Sim Racing Authority and the uh, Gen 6 Series presented by Lama Dog Racing race number three of the season as you see Ariadne go to the front hence double A unless there's something else in there I don't know and we're three wide now look at this Anton led that line barely. Here comes Cheney. Good racing. Oh, everybody's getting loose now. Wow, McMillan. What a run that was. While Connor Anton, the one trying to get away from everybody. The wild races, Ariane has caught the apron. And he had to go save it. He lost the spot in the puts. Here comes McMillan. Here comes Janie Simmons. Shut. Everybody's in the pitcher. Oh, wait a minute here. Who's that 22 back there? I just saw somebody wrecking back here. Apparently I didn't. I'm seeing things. Getting tired. Oh. As we have now 30, uh, less than 30, 27 laps to go next time by here at Auto Club. Again, next time these guys race will be in Martinsville come Monday night. Once we get caught up, we'll have that race for you broadcast it also. As Cheney going to dive to the bottom here on Ariadne. So Cheney is now up to third. He's going for second now. That's 24 looking strong. Simmons getting loose going into one there. Thank you. 
hitting each other, trying to push each other down the straightaway and more. As Randy Roberts having issues again off turn four. As David Shutt looking low. Oh, and Shutt is loose. What a save. AC Simmons gonna go by puts, puts with that right front damage. I think it's really starting to bother him now. That car probably getting tight. As Ariani making that run now at the one. Here comes Cheney now too. And there he goes. Ariani to the front. More than 20 laps to go. We've had a few cautions in this race with some good side-by-side -side battle in between. These leaders. Oh, one, oh that's uh, Scala spinning in off two. Meanwhile, Harry going to go back to the bottom. Some fighting all over this place here. James Simmons trying to get involved. Kyle Putz, he's got that damage. He's trying to stay right there in that top five. Randy Roberts having more issues. Keeps on digging. Anton hitting the wall. Okay. There we go. That's Wing Ryan with Cheney. There's the 16, Lachlan McMillan, David Shutt. And it's way back here to Trevor Telly in the seven, Nick Northrup. There's Scala to 22, Richard Schwint, Stuart Redman. I haven't said much about the uh, SRA Vance uh, car. And there's Derek Bordeaux's damaged car. And all these damaged cars on pit road now. looking to pick up another win here at Sim Racing Authority.
Last weekend in Vegas, Airy did not race. His only start was at Daytona where he finished 31 laps down in the 15th position. So Airy looking to get back on the winning track as he returns back to racing. As Simmons looking inside of Connor Anton for third. Meanwhile, McMillan and Shutt going past puts. Tanya's sitting there riding in the wake of Ariadne. Save a little bit of fuel, even though I think they're okay to the finish. Also, is trying to keep him close where he can strike at any time. Fifteen laps to go from Auto Club. The Gen 6 Series presented by Lama Dog Racing, Sim Racing Authority. You can check out SimRacingAuthority.com. For all the details about the website, there's your third and fourth place car, uh, battle. Fifth, sixth, seventh right here. All right, damn, it's cars right here. Wow, for the lead, Cheney got him. Bobby Cheney to the front. Oh, Bobby, oh, Harry with a real good runoff, too. Very had a bobble off a of Ford that gave Bobby the lead, but there he's able to stretch it out just right back to where it was. And look at Simmons starting to come back into the picture here. One car smoking off of three and four here. Who is that? That's not Roberts. Somebody else is smoking. You can see the smoke ahead. Ah, Lachlan McMillan. Oh, tough break for the 16. Meanwhile, Adi's starting to put Dan, uh, some more distance up on Cheney. Simmons trying to bring Connor Anton back with him there. David Shunt back in the fifth position now. going to pull it off with race number three again the next race will get broadcasted tomorrow will be the truck series the PC Master race series from Sim Racing Authority will be at Atlanta we'll have that race broadcasted tomorrow we'll also get the Kentucky race hopefully done tomorrow that'll get us all the way up to uh, the two USRC races and of course we'll get into the weekend of SRA races to catch up again 
Hopefully by the end of next weekend, we'll be all caught up here. Caution's on the speedway. Looking at, oh, Kyle puts. Ten laps to go, the Budweiser car. Kyle just uh, goes off turn until he gets loose there. Oh, big time with him. Caution out again. It's going to make this race very interesting now. Good long green flag run there, but now we're going to have to regroup it. We only got nine laps to go. see who decides a pit if anyone decides to stay out if someone tries strategy here here we go everybody comes to pit road it looks like some cars that stayed out as I'm looking up there we'll get those uh, clarified here shortly two tires for Anton everybody else four tires and fuel it looks like the cars that have stayed out well it looks like it's one Stuart Redmond Stewart might not be a lead lap car now that I'm seeing he's in the 11th position here. So we shall see. Let's fast forward ahead. Yes, he's going to get the wave around, so he's on the lead lap. So this will give Connor Anton the lead. With five laps to go, can he pull it off with two tires? Earlier you saw it in the CTRL race. James Williams taking two tires. He wasn't able to win it. What about Anton? Can he make it two in a row at Auto Club? He's taking off. We're green. He's trying to get out of Dodge. Look at the run by Adi and Cheney down the back straightaway. And Caution is out. Looking for it. For some reason. Let's look for it here. Oh, Randy Roberts. Loses it and Bordeaux gets into him. And with that, I think the race is going to be over. And 
I believe Connor Anton is looking at his second straight Auto Club win and his first win of the season.